All right, so I've moved down the street about two miles south of where I just placed the last trap. And I'm here at a location where we did a removal a year back of some bees that overwintered in the wall of this house, which is now being demolished. Um, the homeowner has still given us permission to trap, but they've been working on getting rid of a lot of this old, old, old structure. As you can see, they've already demolished some of it. And this is where one colony was removed, and there's another one where another colony was removed. And what's great about this site is that you've got all this wax and propolis still left here. Uh, bird just scared the snot out of me. So that's gonna serve as a natural attractant which is great I caught two swarms here last season one massive swarm that actually overwintered just fine survived the winter which is great I'm so happy about that treatment free but since this building is going to be demolished I'm not going to put a trap on the structure itself I'm going to find a tree here since it's already a site the bees like and we're gonna put the trap up there. So I've decided that this tree here is our candidate for the trap. I don't think this is coming down anytime soon. They're probably gonna leave it. I verified with the homeowner. And then if they end up having to take it down while they're doing the demo, then I'll just come back and move the trap. But this is where it's gonna go because it's in close proximity to the home where the bees have already been pretty well traveling because of the old colonies and the smell that's on the house. So that's where we're gonna put it right there. And hopefully the birds leave it alone. I changed my mind. The height and the ladder both gave me pause. And I decided I didn't feel like carrying down a swarm trap full of bees, probably at night, down that ladder on an angle, probably tired from the day, would be a good idea. I didn't think it'd be a good idea, so I'm not gonna do it. Instead, I'm going to switch to a different setup off the driveway. Check this out. Much shorter. I stick the trap right there in the crook of the tree, right here. And then that way I can pull into the driveway, I can check it, I can pull out, and go back to what I'm doing. And then if I have to deal with it, it's not that big of a fall. Versus that ginormous thingamajigger. The incline down at the bottom, dealing with all the various dead branches up there possibly breaking as I'm messing around so no pass so we're gonna get the trap I'm gonna put it in that short tree I feel much better about it here's the trap here it's about 40 liters based on recommendations from Tom Seeley I put these straps on to keep the lid keep the lid on and then I put six frames in here various combinations I don't have any magic potion or solutions I got a couple of empty frames, some old brood comb, a couple of frames of brood comb, two, three of them, some more empty frames. I got an empty plastic frame with some junk wax on it they can draw out so they got something to do along with the empty frames. And another one, another drawn one. There's no honey in any of these or nectar. If there's honey or nectar, the bees will rob it and probably ruin your chances of that becoming a, a, a swarm site. Um, who knows, if it gets robbed out, maybe later some other bees will move into it, but I haven't had experience with that being the case. Usually after it gets robbed out, they don't mess with it no more. So, let me get that. Get the swarm commander out. A couple of Q-tips in a baggie. I like to use that and then poke a hole in it so it's got somewhat of a slow release to it. And we're gonna put that inside the trap and spray a couple of sprays on the top of the lid. A little small spray in the bottom down here underneath the frames. And some on the Q-tips. Some of the Q-tips right there.
All right, it's gonna go right here in the cook of that tree. Okay, there you have it, folks. Trap's in place. Nice and easy to check on. It's about 10 to 12 feet up. Uh, should be an ideal location for the bees. Should be easier to rebate and check than that giant monster. Don't know what I was thinking, but I took the easy way out. <laughs>